Old school gaming on the Raspberry Pi? Eh, I think so. I'd like to take a trip back in time to, well, approximately September 30th, 1997. Uh, the release date of Fallout, a post-nuclear role-playing game. As you all know, the Fallout games have become a widespread success over the years, but most people haven't actually played the original, uh, developed and published by Interplay Entertainment. Now, since this game is rather old, we will need to use a DOS emulator to actually be able to play the game. Before you install the game, make sure you check out your system requirements, because uh, this game can take up quite a bit of RAM. A whole 16 megabytes, to be exact. Other requirements uh, include Microsoft Windows 95 or higher, DirectX 3.0, and a 1 megabyte VESA compliant SVGA graphics card. Now since it's been 20 years since this game has came out, the hardware and software these days far surpass the system requirements back in 1997. Anyway, enough of that mumbo jumbo, let's get started. Alright, so you should already have your Raspberry Pi booted up. Now I am currently running Raspbian and Jesse with Pixel, uh, kernel version 4.4. Now this is a fresh install, so the first thing that we should probably do is check for updates. And we might as well upgrade as well. Alright, well I didn't think about it, but maybe we should uh, update the kernel and firmware as well. Alright, now we can reboot the system. Alright, now we can install DOSBox, open up another terminal session. Alright, now we can create a directory for our games. And then we will create another directory specifically for Fallout. And I forgot the space. We'll add a space there. Alright. Now we will need to install Pure FTP. Alright, now we have that installed. Uh, we will actually need Pure FTP to transfer over the image file of the game to the Raspberry Pi itself. Uh, now if you already have the image file on the Raspberry Pi, then you don't have to worry about doing this. You can skip this step. But in my case, I have the image file stored on another computer. So if you have the image file stored on another computer, then you will need to follow these additional steps. All right, now we will need to change ownership of our directory that we just made. All 
And I forgot to use sudo. Okay, now we can add our user. And I didn't do that right. This should be a U. There we go. Now we can set the password for this user. All right. And now we can create a few symbolic links. Alright, and we will actually need to change permissions for the directory we created as well, otherwise you will run into problems when you install the game. And now we can restart pure FTPD. And now we can use an FTP client such as FileZilla or WinSCP. To access the files on our Raspberry Pi. So you'll need to put in your IP address of the Raspberry Pi followed by the username and password that you created and we are using FTP and we can click login and then here down at the bottom we have our fallout disk image and then we can actually move that to our inside of our fallout directory on the Raspberry Pi Now if you open up your file manager and navigate to the directory we created, DOS games, and then our fallout folder, you should notice that your disk image file is in there. Now if you already had your disk image on the Raspberry Pi, then you can just move it to that directory. And now the fun begins. Now either you can open up a DOS box from the prompt or you can actually, it should be located under games and it has the uh, DOSBox emulator right there. You can open it from there as well. Alright, so first we need to mount C to the directory that we created. And we are going to set aside uh, 1024 megabytes alright so we have that mounted now we need to mount the uh, disk image itself alright now we have the disk image mounted and now we can navigate to drive D and we can see the contents here 
and we will need to run the install.exe file. So we can just type in install. Uh, now here it has different uh, installations that you can choose from. Uh, we want to choose the uh, full installation, uh, which requires 645.1 megabytes. Um, now this is why we actually used 1024 megabytes. Uh, we set that aside when we mounted drive C so that we would have enough space to install uh, the full version. So you can use the arrow keys if you're using the keyboard to navigate between the installation types and when you have the one that you want highlighted press the tab key and then press tab key again because we will be installing to drive C and down here we will be selecting the directory which is the fallout directory and then we can press the tab key again and again to go to the next button and then press enter and then the game will install All right, Fallout is installed. Now it's going to ask us about sound configuration. You can click Auto Detect Sound Hardware. And we will select that one and exit. Save changes. All right, so now Fallout is fully installed. I'm going to exit out of here real quick and take a look at the files. and we can see here that the game is installed in our directory that we created now if we want to play the game we can just open the DOS box up again before we run the game though I'm going to show you a configuration file under home pi dot DOS box and then the configuration file Uh, now here there are some options you can change uh, let's say if you want full screen enabled then you can set that to true instead of false um, I'm gonna keep mine in windowed mode though and then you can adjust the resolution and then you can scroll down you can set the memory size it's currently at 16 I'm actually going to set that to 31 um, frame skip I'm going to set that to 3 and they have some CPU options here. I'm going to keep those at auto. And the rest I will keep as is for now. Unless I see any problems while I'm playing the game, then I can come back here and change a few values if needed. So we'll go ahead and save that. Close it out. Close that out. Alright, so we can navigate to the C drive. Well, we have to mount it first, actually. Now we can navigate there and we can check the directory contents and we will navigate to the fallout folder and check the contents of that and then we can see that there is a fallout.exe file so we can go ahead and run that and then the game should boot up. Now you won't hear any sound because I'm actually accessing my Raspberry Pi remotely uh, through VNC server and it doesn't really support audio. But if you're playing this straight from the Raspberry Pi and you have an audio source plugged in, you shouldn't have any problem hearing any sound. Now it might be a little laggy here as well, uh, just because I'm logged in remotely.
Now well, those graphics aren't too bad for 1997. Now, like I said before, you can mess with the DOSBox configuration file if the game isn't running as it should on your end. Alright, well I'm not going to watch the entire intro. You can do that on your own time. I just want to play the game. We can select new game. And character selection. So we got Max Stone, Natalia, Albert, and just the three. Albert looks like a pretty tough guy. Let's go with him. Well, anyway, I'm not going to get too far into the game itself. I just wanted to show how to install it onto a Raspberry Pi. So, that's it. Have fun and enjoy.